Hey guys, thanks for joining us. It's Grant Pentarici with Angling Authority. We are so excited to be down here in Pompano Beach, Florida at Gambler Lures Warehouse. I'm here with Val Asinski, owner of Gambler Lures, and we're going to talk about some things that you guys may have wondered about Gambler. Val, thanks for being on the uh, Thanks for having me, Grant. It's a pleasure show. to see you down here. Uh, you know, first thing I wanted to ask you was, what was the inspiration for creating uh, Gambler Lures? Well, you know, I wish I could take 100% credit for creating Gambler, but, you know, we, this company's been in business for over 25 years. Um, I got fortunate enough about nine years ago to uh, be able to get involved and buy the company. Uh, and, you know, from my standpoint, it, growing up in Florida, Gambler is a, a staple in your tackle box, you know. Um, it's not as well known in Canada, probably, but um, it was an ability to get involved with a, a brand that had been there and kind of bring it back, you know. It was, it was, it was uh, had seen us better days when I got it, and um, you know we had to work really hard on new product design and working with our customers and getting the fishermen though. And so a lot of it was just the challenge of of taking a brand that's been around a long time and kind of reinventing it and, and bringing it back into the limelight. Great. And uh, you like fishing, so uh, yes. Question: uh, I've been wondering, what kind of fishing do you like, and what do you fish for? Well, I tell you what, there's. Um, if I had, I got to pick two because we got Florida, we got freshwater and saltwater. We're really blessed here; it's warm all the time. Um, but my, my first love is bass fishing. You know, I grew up fishing in the Everglades here in South Florida uh, and Lake Okeechobee, and that's probably where I spend at, at least 60% of my years is uh, running around Okeechobee. Um, and then there's a couple months in the summertime we like to head down to the Keys and do a little tarpon fishing, and it's it's a totally different deal. You know, you're catching 100. Uh, 150 pound fish, it's like tying onto a truck and it's a lot of fun to do. And that, I spent my summertime in a couple months doing that, but you know, if I had to pick one, I'd be on Okeechobee fishing for largemouth bass. Okay, awesome. And uh, I got one question that I've been wondering, uh, the Gambler logo, it's a, <laughs> it's a really cool logo. Yep. Uh, how did you, how'd you come up with the logo and, and uh, tell me a little bit about it's it. It's actually, um, the, you know, the current, we've been through, through, a, through a few versions of it. You know, it used to be, uh, kind of a retro fish with a smoke and a cigar and um, we got involved, our, our product became um, pretty popular in saltwater too, some of our flapping chads, so it went through a period where we had a redfish and a, a snook and a bass kind of on that logo and then uh, last year, I think we brought this out about a year ago, we just wanted to switch our colors up a little bit and um, we've got a really good artist in our warehouse, Mike Tucker actually, and he hand drew this whole thing and we just spiced it up a little bit and added some color to it and that's what the logo is now. It's a pretty cool logo. Looks great actually. I, I love the contrast. Uh, yeah. love the colors and I, I really love the, the logo so I had just had to ask. Yeah, no, it, um, it's a, it was an in-house project. Cool. Uh, one more question. I know you guys are going to be at ICAST in Orlando. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, is there any uh, New stuff? Yeah, yeah that's what we, I'm getting at. We always, you know, in this business, you have to have new stuff, and we're we're always looking for a new product and always tinkering with stuff here. I got a couple things that aren't on the market yet um, that are close that I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, real quick. And this one here, uh, we have a very popular bait. It was initially called the Big Easy, and then we come out with the Easy Swimmer, and then we came out with a Teasy, and there was a size in the middle, and it's called. Uh, Probably called a little easy, and it's perfect for like a swim jig, um, uh, an underspin type bait, uh, umbrella rig style bait. It's just a real. It's a three and a half inch version of a swim bait, and it's got it's got a segmented tail. It's got great great action on it. Anyone who's familiar with the Big Easy or the Easy Swimmer um, is throwing a smaller version of it. You know, this has been really, really asked for, and it'll be out. It'll be out before I cast. That's for sure. We'll work for that's a prototype, and the, the mold is on the way, so that'll be available very soon. Um, the other thing we've been messing with, and, and this this product will be out uh, pretty quickly too. It's we're calling it the does it, and it's basically a, a way to rig the big easy because a lot of times people get uh, in stained water or dirtier water or it's blowing. And the swim bait doesn't seem to be as effective as it is in clean, clear water. So this, on this, we took a, I got an extra wide gap, really strong hook, a little belly weight on it, and we're adding a spinnerbait blade, a willow leaf blade on this one, uh, to the back of it. And you could rig when you rig that bait up, it's really easy uh, to see it. But really, what we found in 
just adds a little flash to it when it's a little breezy. You can still throw it in vegetation real well. It doesn't get hung up. And it just adds a little bit of uh, flash to that bait when it's, when it's coming through the water. And uh, it's, it's real cool. We've been prototyping it for, for uh, a couple months now and got it to where it sticks on the, on the, on the hook where we need it to stick. And I think that'll be, uh, that'll be a real cool add-on to that bait. Cool. Uh, I just want to mention a couple of things that I noticed. Uh, this is a great alternative to a spinner bait. And a lot of guys also can throw this for northern pike. Definitely. Musky. So this would be something you, you guys up in Canada should check out. Yeah, and it's a, um, the blade just adds a little more flash to it. And I know those fish are all aggressive predator fish. And we're gonna go up to a four and a half uh, willow on it. I believe that's a four that's on there. Um, and then we also have, we've gotten a lot of requests right now for a seven, eight inch version of our Big Easy. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised probably by the time ICAST rolls around, there's not a prototype of a, of a I don't know, maybe a really Big Easy maybe, but uh, it'll be, um, it'll be soon behind that one. And then we're, we're always, you know, our, our roots have always been uh, craw baits and flipping baits and heavy cover baits. And we're working on a new craw too that I can't say a whole lot about right now, but um, that'll, be, that'll be ready in a, in a couple months probably. So th those are the main things we're working on right now. Awesome. Thanks for the insight. No and, problem. And uh, thanks for having us. No problem. Thank you.